My sisters and brothers in Christ, trust in the Lord. These words are prayed and exclaimed, the anointing of each day, they are the praise of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the fiat of Mary, our blessed mother, and her spouse, Joseph. They are St. Peter's cry to Jesus when he stumbles and walks on the water. As I travel throughout our nine counties and meet you, my heart rejoices as you have shown your faith in God. Your prayer of humility is trust in the Lord. Pope Francis said that being a good Christian means being docile, listening to what the Lord says about justice, charity, forgiveness, and mercy. Over the course of the last two years, you and I have learned much about trusting in God as we have experienced the pandemic. Trust in God requires earthly sacrifices and great prayer. The prophet Jeremiah says that anyone who trusts in the Lord is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress. The ministry supported by your generosity to our Catholic appeal are the roots of that tree. We're trying to get people to not only come to Mass, but to experience our Eucharistic Lord in a whole new way. For me to have the body of Christ, that is a privilege to me. So when I say amen to the body of Christ, that makes my soul happier. It's the most wonderful feeling to be able to come every day and to receive the Lord. In these uncertain times, our faith is the one thing we can always count on. Being able to receive Jesus in the Eucharist and worship together as a community has been such a blessing for our family. I remember saying to myself, thank God, thank God that, that I was here when, when he crashed through the doors. It exploded mostly up the way. And uh, it was like looking into a little bit of hell. The air conditioner was on at the time of the fire, so it dragged the smoke all over the building. The diocesan entities uh, that we helped from our Catholic appeal were here on the ground, and they navigated this tremendous world of insurance and repairs. It's better than what it was. There's a spark to it that wasn't there before. Our relationship with Holy Redeemer in particular, that pantry is a work of art, <laughs> okay, a work of beauty. The floor is shining like it's hospital clean. We're given a mission, uh, whether you realize it or not, uh, and as Catholics and as Christians, uh, and this is the type of work that we should be doing. Nos sentimos muy felices y agradecidos de Dios y de ustedes. We were looking for something very centralized so that priests could have easy access to parishes in the area because many priests, of course, never really retire. We still celebrate sacraments and do confessions and, and visit the hospitals. San Pedro is going to give them a lot of opportunities, uh, for example, to be chaplains of retreats, to celebrate the Sacrament of Reconciliation, to celebrate Mass. Just like my whole world crashed down and losing both parents in the same year. And when I let myself go, not showering, hardly eating, sleeping all the time. One morning I looked in the mirror and I said, I don't like the way you look. Either you go, you're going to stay that way or change, and I decided to change. And then when I got here, I was, was kind of nervous. My case manager she asked me what's wrong. They give you fresh sheets three meals, they're friendly and helpful, kind. God has something better for me. That's why I'm still here. I got a new start. The lady should know that this work of speaking up for Jesus, being Christ's mouthpiece, Christ's hands, Christ's leg, 
It's not just for priests and religious. Christ tells every lay person, baptized Christian, you shall be my witness. We want to be known as people who love Jesus. We want to be known as people who say yes to Jesus. Our faith only grows if we start giving it away. I would say what St. Francis said, it's in giving that you receive. And the more you give, I think the more you're going to receive. Ultimately, it's all about surrender. Trust in the Lord. I rejoice in your faithfulness. Today I thank you for your gift to our Catholic appeal, and I ask the Lord's blessing be upon you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.